The following tag team contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Paul Ellering, at a combined weight of 620 pounds, Akum and Razor, the authors of pain. Here comes one dangerous man. You can say that again, guys. Akum is about as lethal as they come. And of course, a quick thank you to everybody watching tonight for spending part of your Halloween with us. And I can see that Saxton got dressed up for the occasion. I didn't realize they made nerd costumes. can't think of a better way to kick off this night. I don't know. Part of me hoped Saxon would have got lost on the way to the announce table. That definitely would have made things better. But no such luck. Byron, I gotta say, you seem like you're ready to jump out of your seat in anticipation for this one. Yeah, it's either excitement or there's actually a good chance I ate too much Halloween candy. I can't tell. Okay, let's get this match going. And this is one of those matches where it's hard to believe we get paid for this. Well, actually, it's hard to believe Saxton gets paid for anything. Good points, gentlemen. And this will certainly be one that Buffalo will remember for a long time. Guys, I'm going to discuss Fandango for a moment. What, in your opinion, can we all expect from him tonight? Remember, gentlemen, Fandango has a win over Chris Jericho on the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. That's proof that he can beat just about anybody on any given night. Fandango's theme song is one of the most popular in sports entertainment, and the WWE Universe loves singing along. But that doesn't mean Fandango's tactics and behavior are appreciated, at least not by most. There's the axe handle. Little misstep by Fandango. Headed into this match, he and his partner look extremely confident. The beauty of tag team competition is that he doesn't need to take the entire brunt of the opposition's attack. Though the thought of making a tag doesn't necessarily appear to be on his mind right now. By all account, the biggest fan of Fandango is Fandango himself. The WWE Universe may love singing along to his entrance music, but they don't like being spoken down to and judged for their supposed lack of fashion sense and dancing ability. The fact that the WWE Universe loves singing Fandango's entrance music, but doesn't give the ballroom virtuoso the respect he deserves is absolutely disgraceful. Especially since he gave such invaluable fashion advice to everyone as part of Brizongo. You can almost see the wind leave his body after that. Three, 
Oh my, what a double team move. Needs to make it to the corner here, and he comes up short. I could have told you that was going to happen. Just look at this man. He's all business. Razor got him there. singing soprano after that one. Breeze in defensive mode. His tag team match can get out of hand quickly if he doesn't mount an offense soon. It looks to me like his partner's itching to get in there. And now might be a good time to give him what he wants. He seemed more motivated than ever heading into this match, which makes me think he still has plenty of fight left in him. There may be no stopping him. He is a one-man gang in there. Clearly did his homework heading into tonight. Super kick from Breeze! Ooh. Is it enough, though? Takes him down in a major way, too. Not today. Oh, and the reversal by Tyler Breeze. He's in trouble. Breeze with the beauty shot. But is it enough to end it? Look at this. Look at to catch him off guard. Oh man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Fondango is always flamboyant. He's not getting up. You can't like his chances right now. This is what makes him so dangerous. Ain't no stopping him now. And he gets him with a counter. What's he doing? And he tosses him to the ground. beginning to peter out here. If they want to win this match, he really needs to make a tag soon. A very crucial part in the match for him here. He simply cannot let his opponent gain too much momentum. Look out here. Went for the airways there. Oh boy, he is rolling. Whoa, he, he works his way out. A bit of a Houdini job right there. In off the tag. It is going to be difficult for Tyler. And this has got to be it. The pin's broken up. This could be it for him, guys. Yeah, he's on Dream Street. He might have it. Thunderous Russian leg sweep by Akam. Wow, I'm just as surprised as you guys are. Oh, no. Akam's going to finish things off once and for all. Boom! Powerball! Just when you thought he had this could do it. One, two, three. And that's it. This 
this one is over. Here are your winners, Akum and Razor, the Authors of Pain. And that's a win to start off the night. And if that matches any indication of what to expect here tonight, we are in for an amazing evening. Plenty more action still to come here tonight, folks.